the Brazilian transplant and his family. It's the ultimate go or go home story. The fight for the American dream. We moved from Brazil to here to, to build my career here. So uh, I was pretty su successful there. It was time to make a decision. It was that time or we were never moved from Brazil. In Brazil, Miguel races, but he has a job over there. He goes and offs, and he's not the kind of guy to stay, you know, looking at a computer in the offs and, and just racing as a hobby. He was pretty good, you know? So that's something that everybody knew it's time to move. Last season was, um, was a tough one for us. We didn't know at the beginning of the year that we had to be in the top 10 in the championship to get the green card approval. One of the first requirements for the green card is to be in the top 10 of the top sport. There are points where we were in the top 10 earlier in the season. We began to submit the paperwork um, and it was not completely processed. So at one point we fell out of the top 10 and then it was a bit of a fight for a good portion of the season uh, to be able to get back into the top 10 on points. You know, I was, I was all year long thinking about that. When I'd get to the track, the very first question was always, where am I in the points? And so over the course of the race, you know, you're not only focused on your own race and paying attention to, to what's going on with your team, but you're keeping an eye on the guys that you're chasing and, and the guys that are chasing you. Yeah, obviously in the back of everybody's head, it's the ultimate for Miguel, go or go home. I mean, it's either he, he races and, and does well or he packs up and leaves. A lot of guys are racing out there for a lot of different reasons and, and, and they need to do well, but it's a little bit, a little bit of added pressure for everybody on the team, particularly the driver, when you're racing, you're racing for your life. As competitors, we all want to run well and he is one of the fiercest competitors I know, and it, that was just a, another part of it and another part of stress. And he tried not to show that, but whenever we were around and you could tell that and Patricia was around, they were just so serious and they were just so excited to be here, and we just, we want to do well for them. I, I didn't realize that until, uh, I think it was Kentucky, we finished eighth, and you know, we were all pretty happy about the fact that we got a top 10, and, and Patricia come running up and give me a big hug and go, hey, we're in the top 10, we can get our green card, and I'm going, what the heck are you talking about? I mean, I had no idea. So it was, it was a pretty big deal. I think everybody on the team um, has seen a difference in him. It suddenly feels like there's just a, a confidence in him. Maybe that's just a feeling of not having that pressure anymore. He's a lot more focused, a lot more determined, and almost a sense of, OK, I belong here. The green card was like uh, the last step to be here completely. For us, it's really special for be able to get the green card. We are proud to be Americans and be able to buy a home here and have our family grow here, Oliver especially. We are looking for a happier life. Be happy, be simple. We are pretty simple. You know, we don't, we don't do a lot of things. We stay at home, uh, play with Oliver, do barbecues on Sunday, watch the races. We are we're just just happy and that's I think that's our that's our American dream. An amazing story. Miguel Paluto, still relatively new to the truck series. His first start was two and a half years ago in Bristol, and he rolls into Kansas, not just with that good feeling, but with momentum. Tenth last week. That was also his best Kansas finish, which happened here last year. And there you see Miguel Paluto again starting on the front row. He'll roll off second, looking for his first NASCAR Camping World Truck Series win. Now that would be the ultimate American dream. Still to come on the setup, our analysts have already picked their favorite.